one naming your variables there are a few things you should consider some of some of those things will not break your code some of them will definitely break your code however it has been a general rule to follow some of these things that i'll be mentioning one of them is you do not start your variable name with a number so for example i cannot start this with um, something like this first value of second value and then try to use this here and try to use this here see I already have an error here one of the things you should also look out for in your IDE is this kind of thing that shows you an error before you even run the code and this is already telling me that this is a bad idea do not do it now, like I've said, there are a few things that don't break your code. This is one of those that break your code. You don't start a variable name with um, a number. Also, you don't want to start a variable name. Let's, let's undo all of our bad changes. You don't want to start a variable name with a symbol such as this. It means something else in so many languages. You don't want to start a variable name with this, obviously. You don't want to start a variable name with something like this. It means something else in several languages or probably in Python too. As we go along, you will learn. Uh, you do not want to start a variable name with some of these things I've mentioned. However, there are a few things you can start with. You can start with an underscore, which is not usually advisable, by the way. I personally do not advise you do that. Uh, you can also use both upper and lower case to name your variables. However, if you use upper case here, you must use uppercase for all instance of that variable so this is what i mean in this instance now on number 16 line 16 here i have first value and my value starts with capital v i should not come here and change this to lower case v that's going to be a problem you want to use the same um the same case you used here everywhere else so that the system knows the variable you are trying to refer to Another thing you should note is um, writing variables this way is a very common thing in programming and it is usually called camel casing. Camel casing, which basically means you start uh, with lowercase, you start the first word with lowercase and subsequent words start with uppercase. So if I was to add another word here, say, first value by me I start the rest with uppercase this is called camel casing another kind of casing that people use I mean this doesn't break your code it's just something you might want to know it's called I believe it's called snake and it's something like first value so rather than uh, having camel casing that says start the first the second uh, word with uppercase the first one with lowercase this says add and an underscore in between words so usually you can work with anyone that you find most convenient I find camel casing most convenient because I don't have to use shift and then my lower key, uh, my uh, my um, underscore to name a variable so basically when naming a variable you want to avoid some of these things and you want to also use uh, easy to remember names you want to use a descriptive name for example you do not want to use FV in this case because whoever is going to inherit your code will not understand what FV is. Uh, it's easy for me to understand what this is by merely looking at the variable. So why naming your variable? Understand that you need to use a descriptive name. However, your name should not be too long. So for example, I don't want to say for this, this is the result of addition of first value and okay and second value this obviously is too long it will work but it's <laughs> obviously too long and then do this this is a bad idea it's bad practice and you should never use such a long name for a variable if a name is this long then you have to come up with something descriptive like i have here result so that whoever inherits your code would easily understand what they do even before uh, you tell them or before they read the documentation or the comments.